Today I'm going to share with you the book called Quiet, um, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by author Susan Cain. And I chose this book because I consider myself to be partially an introvert. And I said partially because I do enjoy doing group work, as in introverts don't really like group work. They like to be on their own, but I myself also like to be on my own sometimes. And so group work, it's I like it sometimes. Sometimes I'd rather be by myself. So this book I really related to in some ways. But there were three things that really stood out to me that I wanted to share with you for why people should read this book. And it is because Susan Cain really explains the importance of introverts in the business world. She describes to us how extroversion is pushed in today's society. And she, especially if you're an introvert, she helps with your confidence and why it is not weird to be an introvert. So first, she shares with us the importance of an introvert in the business world. And this has to do with things like the task and the skills needed by people who may be extroverts and cannot do it, but an introvert would be better at doing so. For example, if there is a task that needs to be done, that would be done better by someone working alone or someone working in a quiet place. An introvert is the person to have to do this. And then she also gives us um, an example or a person that really stood out to me who is very, very successful in the world, and that is Bill Gates. And we know that Bill Gates is a billionaire, and he himself is an introvert. So although you're an introvert, it means, it doesn't mean anything really. You can be successful, very successful in the business world. And then she said things about how extroversion is pushed into today's society. And there were two examples given, um, workspace and classrooms. And she explains to us how workspace has shrunk a lot. And instead of being enclosed, it is now more open and so they do work with people more they interact with people more than from how it used to be she also says classrooms and classrooms i agree with because in my spanish class we have always worked in pods and she says nowadays there is a lot more group work going on than from when she was in school and the desks were in rows facing forward to the room and so extroversion is very likable in today's society and is favored in today's society compared to introverts who are often can be looked at as like the outside kids or the weird kids or just the kid over there sitting at their desk working alone as to all these other kids working in groups so that's an introvert and then confidence of an introvert or for an introvert is something that she really expresses in this book and that is completely normal to be an introvert. She gives many examples of people who are introverts and who are very very successful in today's society. Um, she explains to us that introversion is not a weird thing. Um, it's fine you know if you're called weird or whatever then it's it's really not a big deal because in the long run you will be fine being an introvert is not going to harm you and i do believe that because i said i'm partially an introvert and it's just a personality you know i just rather not be a loud person I'd just rather be quiet and so she really gives confidence to introverts who are reading the book and so they understand themselves better and then even an extrovert who may be reading the book understands introverts much better but by reading and understanding quiet it can help people understand the importance of an introvert in today's society so confidence of an introvert extroversion and how it is pushed in today's society and the importance of an introvert in um, the business world are all elements in understanding introverts